What's up, Life on the Internet fam, and welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to be prepping some ingredients. This is the night before. Um, some ingredients to make my own birria tacos. I'm behind the, the curve here, but I just thought I would just give it a shot. Never really had it before, did some research. So we're, we're going to see what we come up with tonight so as you can see here I don't have any cilantro so I'm using Italian parsley it is in the same family and I like brothers and sisters so um, trying to still get that same profile in we have a sweet onion we have two tomatoes here we have red onion and four cloves of garlic and all we're gonna be doing tonight is just um, prepping that by chopping everything up, setting them aside. It might not be as pretty as um, what I usually do. Um, tonight was an interesting night of filming, so I might talk here and there, but it's mainly just chilling with you all and meal prepping. This is what um, putting something together really quickly for these videos entails. So thanks for being here. I'm gonna say actually I'm gonna go ahead and cut up our onion first red onion remove the first two layers of the skin And we're going to dice. A red onion now we're gonna do a half of a sweet onion So yeah, the video I was filming prior to this, <clears throat> the video I was filming prior to this was a slight disaster. Um, 
Only to me, though. Um, I'm sure it'll turn out fine, but she's Louise. It was a quick one, too. So what I'm doing here is just um, cleaning out the tomato. It's not necessary, but I like to do it. Especially when making pio to reduce that moisture, the moisture content. <clears throat> um, and honestly, I don't know where I'm going to put this in the video. Because I kind of want to mess with that, around with that creatively if people want to watch the meal prep you can watch it at the end or you know or the beginning i don't know yet it's still kind of worth trying to work things out so we're going to dice these doesn't really matter if they're Symmetrical. Might go ahead and take one more out and dice all three because I have three. Maybe not. We'll see. Just go in here. So fun fact about like if you have a these are kind of going these tomatoes I've had them for a little bit um, I don't know if you can see this graininess on the board or if you've ever had a grainy tomato and thought it was bad it's not bad the texture will definitely be off it's not ideal but it's definitely still good to salvage and eat or use for recipes like chili or um, a brothy recipe such as a uh, soup um or like bria so i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but there you go okay next we're going to do our parsley our closely related cousin brother or sister to the cilantro family. I think it'll do just fine in this recipe. We're gonna go ahead and give it a rough chop. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and mince up this garlic. I'm doing the garlic glass simply because if you've minced garlic, it gets all sticky. And I don't like that, especially when I'm cutting other vegetables or anything else on my cutting board post-garlic. So this is why it's last. And that's that. All 
All right. So upon doing research, these are the two top two chilies that are predominantly used in this recipe. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a shot. I've never tasted them before. Don't know their flavor po profile, but I'm excited to try it. Um, I'm just going to use a couple from each ancho chilies and guajillo chilies. And we'll see what we come um, what we come up with. So I have this bowl here. I'm going to take out the seeds. Like I said prior to this, I've only done research. Don't really know how hot these chilies are. So I'm not going to really have... I'm going to take most of the seeds out just in case. We're going to put them in the bowl to rest. Um, I couldn't find these chilies, neither of them, at a local grocery store near me. So I actually bought these off of Amazon. And they came within a few days and now we're here. So we'll see. I'm going to get most of them out. Not all of them. A little spice adds flavor. You don't want to overpower the spice because it drowns out all the flavor. I mean, if you can't feel your tongue because it's numb, hey, it's too much spice. In my opinion, in my opinion, of course. <laughs> Some people are into that, not, not I. Nice. You want to look at mostly cleared out. I'm going to keep these peppers as whole as possible so we can extract them from the broth easily. Uh oh. I'm going to tell you right now, these smell sweeter, that ancho, the, oof, still definitely getting that spice though. Okay, after a sneezing fit and um, a little bit of tears, we'll see how many of these I use. Gonna place it in the bag for storage. All right, everyone, everything is prepped and ready to go for tomorrow. And for you, it's just the next shot. But thanks for joining me. Cheers and catch you in the next shot.